the long stretch sandy beach and some buildings over there of course my mini kelly the best travel companion and this is hubby's ootd for matching got your sling jacket apparently you're supposed to put the mustard Such a cool gift idea from Korea. Yeah, this is really nice. Aren't they so cute? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. So we finally made it to our baby moon destination, which is south of Korea. We are in a main city called Busan and we're staying at Haeundae, which is a famous beach here in Korea. So we got to Korea a couple of days ago. We arrived in Seoul, which is the capital city. We flew into two days ago and spent a couple of days just resting up after a long, long flight. And this morning we took the KTX train, which is a fast train in Korea, down to Busan, which took about maybe just under three hours to get to the other end of Korea. So the plan is to spend a couple of days here in Busan, explore Haeundae and enjoy the beach. And then we're going to rent a car, take a road trip down the south coast of Korea. There are so many beautiful places that I saw online. So we're really excited to explore the parts of Korea that we've never seen. Oh, there's our welcome tea. So I'll be right back. So we're staying at Signal Busan, which is a nice hotel. We've stayed in the Seoul one before. So they always give you a welcome drink, which is really nice. It's kind of warm, even though it was so cold in Seoul. I guess this is more down south, so it's quite warm. So we asked for iced tea. How beautiful is this little tea set? So we're going to enjoy the tea. So before we have the tea and make a mess of this room, I wanted to quickly show you the beautiful view and um, what heaven there looks like from our room. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and do a little room tour. So it's not the biggest room. We have stayed in Signal in Seoul before and it was so much bigger, but I guess it's all about the view here. So we're okay, it's still a really, really nice room. It is technically a five-star hotel, but um, there is also a little lounge area, which is nice. That was our tea. And this is such a good view of Helen there. We're going to open the curtains. And let's head outside. Oh, such a nice breeze. This is Helen there. So we've got the beautiful beach. It's quite a sandy beach. And we have the Helen there city over there. So our room has a bit of an ocean past so it's kind of nice. We were just saying that it reminds us a little bit of the Gold Coast in Australia. The long stretch sandy beach and some buildings over there. But yeah, really, really excited to enjoy some time here before we go on our little road trip. <laughs> Okay, we had our little tea and it is about 4.30 p.m. We are meeting one of my childhood friends who happens to live in Busan at the moment for dinner at around 8 p.m. But we didn't even have proper breakfast or lunch today because we were rushing to catch the train from Seoul. So we're going to go out and eat something local, something really low key. We found this um, noodle place, so we'll check it out. It is still kind of cool in Korea. It's meant to be spring, but it is still quite windy and cool so I'll show you what I'm wearing I've just got my jumper this is from Lily Silk I've been loving it this trip and then I'm just wearing my Lululemon leggings my Hermes Voltage sneakers my all-time favorite sneakers for traveling my Celine denim jacket of course my mini Kelly the best travel companion if you ask me and my usual jewelry I've been also loving my ideal pieces um, yeah, so I've got my diamond necklace and earrings and that is the outfit. Let's go and check out this noodle place. And this is Hubby's OOTD for matching. You've got your Celine jacket and your Hermes t-shirt, the robot one, maybe your favorite color, Lululemon pants, Hermes sneakers, <laughs> going in the lift. Show us your watch. 
your favorite Vacheron watch, your usual jewelry, rings, your love ring. There we are. It's actually quite a nice one. It's a nice little waterfall. That is just a very simple menu. It's basically noodles, 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 bigger noodles, and dumplings. The dumplings came out first. You already took a bite. How is it? It's is it good? It's amazing. It's amazing, really? Did you dip it in the sauce? Mm -hmm. Nice. So in Korea, you just have to take have local foods like this. It's cheap, it's yummy. So this is a um, noodle called Nyumyeon. This is um, like a specialty from Busan. So apparently you don't cut the noodle like you do with the cold Korean noodles. You just mix it. It looks like just some chili sauce, some ice. I guess Busan is a more sort of warmer, has a warmer climate in Korea because it's all the way down south. You mix it. It's hot. Apparently, you're supposed to put the mustard and the vinegar. Bite. It's really cool. And we're just walking along the Hyundai beach. The sun's setting almost. It's still so cold in Korea that it's not really beach season yet. I don't know what that is, but that is such an ice walk. Anyway. And that is the hotel that we're staying at. All along this side, we have restaurants. We came out to the outdoor pool and it is so beautiful. So we're just going to chill here for a little while and then we're going to head out to dinner. woke up, had our buffet breakfast at the hotel and we're gonna explore Hyundai today. We're gonna go on the monorail. There are these cute little capsule trains so we're really excited to go on those little trains and explore the town. The air quality is not the best today so it's a little bit hazy and a little foggy looking but otherwise it's not raining or anything so it is still a fine day. So yeah we're gonna head out and explore. We had a slight change of plan. Apparently those Sky Capsule train tickets get sold out really quickly online. So if you haven't booked online, apparently you have to go to the ticket office and they will sell some limited tickets on the day. And they only had 2 or 3 p.m. left for today. So it was only 10 a.m. when we went out. So we booked for the 3 p.m., came back to the hotel and 
had a little bit of a swim. Now we have to wait until 3 p.m. to go on our casual train. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one of the big shopping malls because part of the plan was to have a look at some maternity clothes and some baby stuff as well while we're in Korea and on our baby moon. So we're gonna do that because we have about three, four hours to kill now before our train. So it looks like we're gonna do a little bit of shopping beforehand. <laughs> This is the shopping for the day. I got some souvenirs for some of my friends from the mall. And this brand called Tambourines is a Korean brand that specializes in perfumed products. So they do hand creams, perfumed candles, sanitizers, and a whole lot of other toiletries. And I bought little hand creams for some of my friends and they individually wrapped, well, kind of put them in gift boxes. And I opened one because I'm gonna keep one for myself. I just wanted to show you it's such a cool gift idea from korea so it's not the best value for money because these hand creams are so tiny so perfume hand they had a few different scents this one's called fei nine it had a really refreshing scent it's only 15 mils but i thought it was just so cute as a little gift this was probably around twenty dollars i know a bit crazy this is what the bottle looks like isn't it just the cutest little thing and that's where the hand cream comes out just such a cute design there were ones in the tube which were so much better value for money but they were just not as cute so i got ended up getting these so that was a little unboxing and it is almost time for our train ride so we're gonna head out soon
not sure what that is. Try it. Do you know what that is? Top. Top. No, okay. what's this? Super this is shikai. Oh, shikai. Okay. Korean traditional beverage. Finally moved to a window seat, some people left. We finished part of our dessert already. But look how beautiful we have the cherry blossoms and again not a very clear day but you can see the water. A really really nice place and the dessert is really nice too so highly recommend if anyone comes to like dessert. I think it's like mochi gelato. This is how they make it. Cute are these trays so they come on these trays apparently they're disposable but they look too nice to be thrown out so there's not many seats to eat in there so we just took it away and let's take a bite mm. they do the dough on the spot so it's, it's very chewy very chewy <laughs> Do you like your matcha one? Mm-hmm. That's the matcha one. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna walk back to the hotel now. So we're just enjoying the Hyundai night view. It's a shame that it's just so dusty today. We spent the last night in Busan chilling at the pool again. I have two more Korea vlogs coming up very soon, including Baby Moon Vlog Part 2 in Yeosu, another beautiful city in the south of Korea. Then a Seoul vlog full of food recommendations and shopping recommendations. So please stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for coming along with us to Busan and see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.